1950s playgrounds to the world, Florida, the sun and fun capital, Mexico, beach heaven for the hedonist, Cuba, the Latin Las Vegas. This is a disaster of massive proportions. It's leading to a situation that could be very serious. This is an area that has been overfished. At our very first meeting in Cancun, Mexico, we ended up with a list of six priorities that we have to this day focused on and have become the central elements of our collective plan of action. Sea turtles. Sea turtles travel thousands of miles. They nest on Cuban beaches and feed in American waters and Mexican waters and vice versa. We have maybe one to two percent of the sea turtles that existed in Columbus's day. We ate them. We ate them all. Now it's a struggle to bring these animals back. In the Gulf of Mexico, some of the key shark species have been reduced up to 99% over the last 50 years because of fishing pressure. In our group studying sharks, the idea is to undertake projects in each of the countries and at the same time engage in joint projects. 25% of the world's coral reefs have already perished. We've seen more than half of the coral reefs in the Florida Keys die over the last 20, 30 years. But right across the Florida Straits in Cuba, I've seen with my own eyes the most magnificent corals, corals I haven't seen in decades, thriving. Why? The work is to understand the factors that come together to maintain these ecosystems in better condition in Cuba than in other places. The BP oil spill taught us all that we simply cannot afford to remain isolated. The Gulf connects us. Cuba is on the verge of developing oil and gas in the Gulf of Mexico. If there were a problem in Cuban waters, we have to already be ready to, to work together. We could not have the first meeting in the United States because we had no hope of getting Cubans to the U.S. We couldn't have it in Cuba because we weren't sure that the U.S. government would grant permission for all of the U.S. delegation to go to Cuba. So we picked Mexico. No matter that we are different politics, different economic system, different points of view, the three countries, we can work together. Let us find a solution to conflict through dialogue and cooperation. Faced with grave danger, let us set aside what has put us against each other and let us come together to save peace, our earth, and the life of future generations. So much is at stake, we simply can't afford to wait. This project and this funding is very good for us. We can work together in collaboration I have success. That's part of the intention of this trade international initiative. I grew up in Philadelphia and went fishing with my dad off the coast of New Jersey. To me, the moment that a fish would break the surface was always amazing. There was this whole other world that nobody knew anything about. There's something to be said for the fact that marine biology really could be the way to bring Cuba and the United States back together again. I've always said that we're not separated by the Straits of Florida, that we're united by those waters. And that's the way a marine biologist sees the world. We look underwater, we see all these connections. And we're connected whether we like it or not. And we might as well figure out how to make it work. <laughs>